Thank you for joining me and us. Welcome to The Joy of Pouring number 10, 12. This is crazy. How did it get so far like this? It's absolutely crazy. Uh, oh, excellent. It looks like all the people that were, I made moderators last week are still moderators. That's fantastic. So I don't have to redo everyone. Hi, Gail. Gail Moore. Hi, Gail. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. So while we're just waiting, I'd love to give a few shouts out. Hi there, Adrienne Artistry. Felicia. Hi, Felicia. How are you doing? Wendy. Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? Lily. Hi, Lily. Everyone's here. Well, this is it. You guys were in the list of my shout outs, so I've already given you personal ones. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Go uh, hi Heather. Hi, Jan Bean. How are you doing, darling? <laughs> right. So, yeah, a few shouts out. A few shout outs. Right. Uh, yes, Lily, I've already given you a shout out and a good shout out to my friend Colleen, who's been tuning in and painting along with us. Hi, Colleen. She's part of our skate crew. Uh, we missed you on Saturday night, Colleen. Hi there, darling. Hi, Maya. Hi, Vicky. All the people that are just popping up. I'll say hello as I see them. Um, right. Yes. And the other shout out. Um, da, 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 where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yes, of course. Right. So, shout out to Smiley and uh, Lily. There we go. And shout out to Mama. She'll be watching later. Hi, Mama. Glad you're back from uh, holiday. That's great. Shout out to Laura. Shout out to uh, Josh. Shout out to Heather. Hi, Heather. I've already said hello to you. Shout out to Betty Moore. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Luciana, Lou Bean. And then Lucia is Bell, Bella Bean, I believe. Hi there, darling. And we've also got maybe got Brad in the live uh, live chat too. Hi, Brad. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Erin. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Susie. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Pam. Seth, Danny. Precious Bean, of course, how could we ever forget Precious Bean? Charm Bean, who's joining the trainer with us today. Jan Bean, I've already said hello to you, Jan Bean. Shan Bean, Michelle, and Amber. If I have forgotten any of you, I am so sorry. Uh, obviously, we're gonna say hello to my Lamb Bean too. Hi there, Lamb Bean, probably watching it a bit later. Because she has friends around, or or, no, or, she's there. or or the children. Are, are you in there? Are you in the live chat? Oh, fantastic! Hi, Luciana. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Hi, Joanne. Hi there. So that was the shout out. Okay. So let's just give you the brief introductions. You know who I am. I'm the idiot that just waffles along. Waffle, waffle, waffle. If you're playing the drinking game, is that is that the the buzzword this week, or have we got a new one? Um, Yes, you know me, Frosty, from Frosty Eye Candy, and this is Welcome to the Joy of Pouring. I have in my ear here, I have the lovely and fabulous, my number one fan, Christy, who's in my ear, and she's in, also in the live chat with you. Introduce the other people that are in the live chat with you. There will be uh, our brother from another mother, <laughs> Darren Acker Wombat from Venom Fluid Art. He will be in there. Our darling B, Bridget, is going to be in there too. Not forgetting our darling Brit and hopefully Sheldon. If Sheldon's not working today, that would be great if Sheldon's in there. But also saying hello to Charmbean, Charmaine, who's going to be the uh, next to last train from the caboose, which is going to be Lance again. So that's going to be the kind of uh, the, the acrylic crazy train trip around the world. So we're starting here in Canada. We go to New South Wales in Australia for Venom Fluid Art. And we come back to the US for Christy. Uh, hopefully if she gets her video uploaded, in time we'll, we'll hopefully we'll have a stop at Christie in Illinois and then we're going on to Sheldon who is in Maryland and that's going to be our next stop then we're going back to Texas for lovely Brit and then we're going to Charmaine's I can't remember exactly where you are Charmaine I'm sorry darling but we're going to Charmaine and then we're going to be the last train the last stop on the station is the wonderful lovely Lance Travis from pouring up together with Lance Okay, so there you go. That's the introductions. Excuse me while I just have a little. And another introduction we cannot forget is the gorgeous, marvellous, darling, of course, our own Vanna Swipe, who is just off camera right now, manning the chat rooms. Oh, and something I want to say to you guys, because we haven't got the better setup yet, so I haven't got multiple cameras, I'm using my phone to make the, to go live. So I can't always read the little messages you put up. So if in the live chat you say hi to me, 
I'm really so please don't be upset if you don't get a personal reply from me. It's because I literally can't do it at the same time. If you like as such, Vanna is speaking for me, as is Christy, as is Darren, as is Bridget, as is Britt, as is Sheldon, as is Charmaine, as is Lance. So there we go, guys. So yeah, apologies if I don't say hi in the live chat. It's because I'm, I'm actually filming and I can't do it. So anyway, 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 anyway. Let me just remind you guys that if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channels. It won't take very long. And uh, the more subscribers we have, it's great because the more watched hours we get and we have to maintain those hours. We're almost there with Darren from uh, Venom Fluid Art. He's almost at monetization. I think he's only got like a couple of hundred hours to go. So this is why I'm gonna to speak to you about watching our videos and subscribing. And also in the bottom right down here, I think, in your chat, where you type in the live chat and you press send, there's a little dollar sign. Now these are stickers and super chats. Now it's a way of getting your message in the live chat noted, noticed because it's highlighted. Uh, and all you have to do is you click on that button. You can select a little sticker pack. Uh, and if you don't have Apple iPay already, it will take you to a secure window where you can just pay with a credit card or a debit card. But you select a sticker pack and then you select a sticker and you can put a little message with it and press send and it has a little monetary value. Uh, it's great fun and it's great for us because again, we're still adding to the YouTube fund uh, to get more cameras and be able to get you guys, give you guys a better show. So that's the super stickers, super chat, and also the subscribing. So please subscribe to our channel. If you don't subscribe, you can't uh, comment in the live chat and you can't interact. So it's a good in incentive to do so. So, da, 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 da. oh yes, a couple of us, a few of us have Facebook stores. Please, when you subscribe to us, search us out on Facebook. And if you'd like to support us, uh, not just give us stickers this way, you could actually buy a piece of art, which we prefer, and you get something and we get support. And that's great because we get justification to buy another blank canvas to our spouses. <laughs> if we sell, at least sell one, right? Van is giggling right now. But yeah, you know, I have a fantastic, supportive, wonderful wife. Oh, Heather darling thank you there we go that's an example of a super sticker there you see heather's just sent one that's so kind of you heather thank you so much oh and i see i missed one from somebody because one's at the top of my screen again i don't know who it is and i can't thank you so the people in the live chat are going to thank you on my behalf okay oh no there's a yellow one Anyway, it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, blah, 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 blah. So what I'm going to do is let's just start talking about last week's canvases. Oh, Mickey, Mickey Holtz. Thank you so much, Mickey. That's so kind of you. Greatly appreciate it. Christy, are you still in my ear, my darling? Yes, I can. Excellent. I just kind of, uh, can you speak again, Christy? Can you still hear me? George Ann, thank you so much. Christy, no, I think I've, uh, I've turned them off maybe. We're gonna have to reconnect that call. Sorry, Vanna. Anyway, thank you for those people that just sent stickers there. Stickers there. If I missed you, thank you ever so much. So let's start talking about last week's canvases. Okay, da, 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 da. let's just, actually, I think I'm just gonna hold them up. So here we go. This was what we were trying to recreate. And this is, we did this uh, a few GOPs ago. It's the Frosty style Dutch pour, where we were just mixing our budget-friendly dollar store paints with Floetrol, and this was the effect we got. And as we can see, the paints are quite matte flat. They're not really shiny. Oh, thank you so much, Luciana. Thank you. Guessing your names is going to be a funny game, isn't it? Luciana, now you are either Lou Bean or Bell, Bella Bean. Bell Bean. I can't quite remember. But anyway, I'm sorry. Thank you so much. That's so kind. This is what we were trying to recreate. And this is what we ended up with. Now, let's be super critical about this. I mean, yes, it's pretty. And you can see comparatively how this one is a bit better because it has reflective paint in it and micas and things, and it just looks a bit prettier. And this one is just totally flat. So you can't even see the, can't even see the light ring reflection in it. It's so flat, but we can in this one because we had our gloss mediums and we used uh, the pigments. 
So let's look at this one and be super critical. I'm going to be super critical of it because, you know, this is, I've always said, I never claim to know it all or, or know much about anything, really. <laughs> I just thought I had a good idea and, uh, and a couple of pieces were picked up on the internet and people really loved them and that's what spurred me on to make these, to make these shows. But I've never said I know it all, especially when it comes to Dutch pores. Now, let's super critically have a look at this. You can see where the pillow went over it and it just really, really kind of melted. We also, it warped rather, or warped, melted, similar thing. We also tilted this one, so that's also gonna kind of break the composition a little bit. But if we're really honest there, the way it's kind of worked, I'm gonna call it and say, you know, whenever I get it wrong, I'm gonna hold my hands straight up and say, hey man, I got this wrong. I was mixing these colors were way, way too thin. They should have been much thicker. And then when the white pillow went over the top of them, they would have still retained their structure and not kind of bled so much as they have. So yes, if you were following along with me last week and you had a similar, similar, um, uh, similar result, this is because I got it wrong. We should have mixed our colors a little bit thicker than they were. I believe I mixed them one on one so they needed to be just a little bit thicker and then we would have retained that cell structure. And we would have had something hopefully a little more prettier in composition like this, which is what I was hoping of course, uh, but with some really nice blingy kind of pigments. So there we go. Sweet bean, sweet Jan bean is in the house. Oh, hi there, Ben. Right, hi there, Darren. Hi guys, hi people. So there we go guys. So yeah, I didn't get it too, too good. But if you guys would like to win these two, I mean, you know, I won't be offended if the winner says, actually, sorry, I don't want that one. <laughs> so I won't waste any resin on it unless the winner says, oh, yes, I really want both of them. Um, if you'd like to win these two, OK, and this is the result from the bloom blowing out. There we go, guys. Again, we left the paints a little bit thick in the middle and they were a bit thick here. That's why we didn't get much blending between the colors. It's quite blocky because they're quite thick, but it still came out pretty quick, uh, pretty. It still came out pretty, I think, where we've got a little bit of melting just in the middle. Again, if we want to be super critical, where the paint was just a little bit thick, but this was the uh, result from the, um, the blow uh, technique practice, kind of, you know, where we learned to blow down in the middle and then kind of move our head back while still blowing to blow the cell activator over the colors and then we blow across for the petals. So if you would like to win this, and let me try and hold them all, and this, and you know, I won't be upset if you say, no, I don't want that. But if you'd like to win these, my friend, okay, my friends, what I'm gonna ask you to do, and again, I'm not gonna ask you to watch one of my videos. Oh, Eleanor. Uh, Eleanor, thank you so much. That was a lovely little sticker. Thank you, darling. So kind of you. If you'd like to win these, I used to ask people to watch my videos, but I'm up to monetization now. But please don't stop watching my videos. I need to maintain those watch hours over the year. Denise, Denise Badeau. Oh, Denise, thank you so much. That's so kind. That will go straight towards the shipping. <laughs> so if you'd like to win these, please don't watch one of my videos. What I'm going to ask you to do is watch Venom Fluid Art, okay? He's coming up after me, my brother from another mother, Darren, all the way in New South Wales in Australia. Please watch his, go to his channel, and I would like you to watch Double Bloom for Beginners. It was his video last week, so Double Bloom for Beginners. If you'd like to let me get a pen and make a note, watch Venom Fluid Art is the channel, and then if you watch his video, Double Bloom for Beginners, Watch it in its entirety, please. If you've already seen it, just press play and walk away. So he gets his, we're trying to build up his watched hours and he's only a couple of hundred uh, watched hours away from getting monetization. So go to his channel, watch Double Bloom for Beginners. It's his either second to last video, right at the top. Thank you so much, Jan Bean, bless your heart. I'm gonna have to play with this because it's falling out my ear. Sorry if I cut you off, Christy. So anyway, yes, please watch his video. Watch it in its entirety and comment love. Okay, my friends, that's all I'm asking you to do. Watch Double Bloom for beginners, comment love, and then before next week, he will pick a winner out of all of his comments and you shall win this one, this one, and <laughs> if you want this one too, you can have it. <laughs> Ooh, 
Right, this is crazy. Hi, Adrienne, that's so, that's so, so lovely. Okay, I've got, ah, oh, there we go, <laughs> fantastic. Vanna was just playing me my own voice back in my earpieces for a second then. <laughs> Excellent, so there you go, friends. Yes, if you want to win these uh, canvases in the LWC, last week's canvases, please watch Darren's video, and Darren is Venom Fluid Art. Watch his video, Double Bloom for Beginners. It's his second to last one at the top. And comment love, okay? And we'll pick a winner next week and we'll get these shipped off to you. Excellent, so that's two kind of things sorted. Excellent, and I just need to uh, just take a little drink. Again, just then while I was waffling away, away about those last week's canvases. Um, some people sent through stickers. If I missed saying thank you, thank you ever so much right now. And that's what my lovely co-hosts and the rest of the team that make this show so much fun and the rest of the acrylic crazy train journey so much fun uh, is obviously it's Christy, Darren, Bridget, Britt, Sheldon, and now obviously Lance and also Sean Bean. So if they thank you for me, on my behalf, they are speaking for me. And there we go. I'm sorry I can't reply myself. Excellent. So there we go. I think we have just got all the way through the things I wanted to get through. So what are we doing this week, Frosty? Right. We are going to recreate. I'm sure, you know, you know what my, um, uh, my YouTube uh, and Instagram and everything looks like. Especially the YouTube. The long, uh, the long strip of picture across the top was a swipe I did maybe close to maybe two years ago now, 18 months, two years ago. And it was on a 24 by 30 inch. Now I know it says uh, in the description, two by three feet. Uh, and I was looking at it, I'm thinking that's not exactly three feet. So I measured it and this canvas size, which is da, 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 this one here, it is 24 by 30 inches. Okay, so we're just six inches shy off being two foot by three foot but i did a swipe on something this large now here we go for great entertainment value i haven't painted anything this large for way over a year or more uh, as you can see this canvas has got a bit of a a bit of wear on the side of it because i unwrapped it over a year ago and i never got around to actually painting it so this is what we're going to do today and we're going to learn how much paint we need to use on a canvas this big because you know it's really easy to go woohoo too crazy and we're wasting lots and lots of paint i know wasting paint you know is going to happen in this art medium but if we can minimize it because i'm on a big budget trying to paint with things as i'm sure many of you are at home you know we need to be economic with it at least but anyway this is the canvas we're going to be painting on um and it's going to be a swipe and it's going to be with these colors so we've got the rust-oleum gold now i know this isn't available in australia or new zealand i'm really sorry guys but you can see what kind of gold it is it's a rich deep gold so if you want to paint along with me please by all means get some gold so we're starting with gold and you'll be at need about two ounces of uh of uh, the gold mixed up in your pouring medium okay so that's going to be the gold then we are laying down Liquitex and this is the soft body acrylic and this is the fluorescent blue and fluorescent blue as you can see this has a little square that's filled in half at an angle that means it's semi opaque okay now we are going to be using of course we've got a couple of tubes as such and now we're going to use a piggy we've got Athena here we go by TLP this little piggy it's a beautiful kind of rosy gold uh, blush kind of pink kind of color it's absolutely gorgeous and as you can see has this fantastic flash of gold to it uh, then we're going to go back to the Liquitex because these are the simply these are the colors that I used back then to make that picture uh, this is the prism violet yep and it is transparent as you can see the little square is totally empty and then of course you know the hot dog swipe the hot dog swipe what is the hot dog swipe <laughs> i know my fellow friends on acrylic crazy train and people say what's going on and i was getting messages saying hot dog swipe have you lost your mind um no we are not swiping with a hot dog i'm sorry if you were hoping to see some crazy shenanigans like that no we're not using a hot dog as the tool to swipe 
when we when we lay our colours down on the canvas uh, because of the strip of gold in the middle and uh, what we're going to do is lay two strips of interference pigment on the outside the interference strips in on the outside make it kind of look like a hot dog I think so the swipe resembles a hot dog or the colours resemble a hot dog before you swipe it okay so these are the two colours we're going to put on either side that make it look like a hot dog like these are the buns I guess Comet from TLP, it's an interference gold ready kind of colour, absolutely lovely. And Velvet, which is interference blue. Okay, so there we go, there are, those are our colours. Well, let's just get the camera pointing down. I'll carry on waffling for a little bit and we'll start to see, uh, and we'll have a look rather at the paints I've already mixed up. So if you did want to paint along with me on a much smaller scale, we need a gold, we need a blue, we need a shimmery gold. So, you know, the blue is uh, Liquitex, I'm using Liquitex, but if you've not got these paints, it doesn't matter. Just use the ones you do have or whatever you've got close. Now, I mix these up with my pouring medium, which is Bare 8300 uh, Untinted House Paint and Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. Now, I mixed my colours up here. If you're at home with different colours and just flow troll, mix the colours up just with flow troll as we were doing before, guys. Just stick to that kind of recipe and you'll be good. You can paint along with us. Uh, so we're using a gold, we're using a blue, I'm using the shimmery. Thank you. Oh, Lily Burns, thank you so much, darling. That's so kind of you. Thank you, Lily. Then we're going to be using the purple and then two interference. If you don't have interference, use your favourite colour and lay that down either side. And that's going to make the kind of hot dog, okay, guys? But I mix up my colours. Let's get the camera pointing down. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Bingo. How's that look, guys? How's that look? Christie's, is that all decent and quite straight and not bad camera angle? Fantastic. Excellent, there we go. So, let's have a look. We've got our paints here. Let's come down here close a little bit. Here we go, perfect. So these are the colours, guys, if you are wanting to mix them up at home. So we've got the gold, the blue, uh, shimmery gold, purple, and then the two interference colours. So let me just, let me show you. I was mixing these up this morning. Uh, I wish I'd had time to mix them up last night so they could have really sat and got rid of all of the air bubbles. But let me just show you oh, the consistency of the gold. As you can see, it just really drizzles up beautifully off the stick, stays up for about a second or so on the top of the gold, on the top of the rest of the paint rather, and then it just sinks straight back in. Okay, so that's our gold. And if you're mixing them up right now, don't forget we can give them a little tap like this and that will help you get the, uh, the air bubbles out. But there you go, there's the blue, the fluorescent blue. Da, 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 da. How's that look, Christy, is that good? Excellent. <laughs> Are there any questions or any uh, of my jibber jabberings that have confused people that need to be addressed in the, uh, in the live chat? Okay, so here is the Athena, the beautiful rose gold kind of color. As you can see again, consistency just stays up on top for a second, falls back in. I'm going to give those another little tap. Now, there we go. Let's just show you the purple. Da, da, da. Oh, here we go. There, there you go. That's better. So, yes, I mix these up two to one. I start with my pouring medium two to one. So that's two bare. 8300s to one part Joe Sonia gloss varnish. And I start with that kind of ratio, and then it, I'll either add a little bit more Joe Sonia to the mix, if it's a tube paint or a paint that's much thicker than a pigment, uh, and if it needs to be thickened up a little bit, so say the pigment was a little too, too thin, you just put a small amount more of the bare 8300. So we're working at a ratio in between about, you know, one and a half to two and a bit maybe. So that's where I start. And then I just add more Joe or more, more, uh, more Joe to thin and more bare 8300 to thicken until we get this desired consistency. Okay guys, there we go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Vanna. Vanna has just, uh, Vanna has just uh, informed me that um, if I mention the words, Chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. 
<laughs> I think somebody needs to maybe just take a little bit of a sip. And let me just put... I think I would really like to be in on this game, you know? <laughs> I know it's only like 2.25, but to settle one's nerves, would it be okay, do you think, to maybe start the show with a little drink, you know? Would anybody be offended if I had a little, maybe gin and tonic, rather than the water? <laughs> you can turn Christy up a little bit in my ear. She's a bit quiet, darling. Okay, friends, thank you so much. Thank you, right, okay. So, that's enough of the chitty chat. <laughs> so, those are the, uh, those are the colours we're putting down. This is the... Da, 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 da. This is Velvet by TLP, the Interference Blue. Now, there you go. You can see the consistency. Just like the others, stays up for about a second before it just falls back in on itself. And you can see on the stir stick, there you go, that blue interference colour. For anybody that doesn't know what interference colours are and would like to know, I'm very quickly going to tell you. It's a transparent or semi-transparent paint or pigment. And what it does, as you can see, you can see the, uh, the blue haze through the paint on the stir stick there. It's transparent and it, it's called interference because it interferes with the colour you can see below it because it's transparent, as I've just said again, and it will add this beautiful blue flash when you get it at 45 degrees to the, there you go, to the light, bang, bang, it gives you this beautiful blue flash. So this is gonna look fantastic either side of this stripe of colours. Now, I held off mixing them all up and thought, well, if people are gonna be painting along with me uh, and they've got the colours that they want to use, you know, like I've said, just swap out the colours for anything you guys haven't got here. Uh, and you're furiously mixing them up, it's okay, don't be so furious. Don't mix so many <laughs> air bubbles into it. Ah, hang on a second. Right, I have just looked at my, sorry guys, bing bing, hi there. I just looked at my notes. And I, yes, my notes, my notes, my notes. Yes, Frosty, get your notes straight. Last week's canvas giveaway, those pieces that I did and we're asking you to watch Venom Fluid Art, I read out the wrong one. I've written down Venom Double Bloom for Beginners. If you've already done that, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I'm sorry, uh, brother, for getting so many different comments on your, feed, on your videos there. I meant to use your latest video, which was the white dots in your paint. I'm looking at the wrong page for, uh, I'm looking at last week's, <laughs> I'm looking at last week's show 11 notes, not show 12. So there we go. Not only did Frosty kind of bugger the camera, cam canvas up last week with paint that was way too thin, now asked you to go and go and watch and comment on something which was last week's video. So again, hands up, really sorry. You know, I've got my notes here and I was just looking at the wrong page. What I'm gonna actually ask you to watch is uh, Air Bubbles In Your Paint, which is his latest video. Air Bubbles In Your Paint. Please watch that on Venom Fluid Art and then comment love, okay? So it's the air bubbles in your paint. It's a really informative video because he tells you what happens when you do and how to get rid of them, which is, well, you know, the best way to avoid them. Um, please watch that video in its entirety, air bubbles in your paint, it's called. Second to last one on the top of his uh, video list there and comment love and then you can win uh, the canvases that I kind of mucked up or the nice ones that didn't muck up quite so much and you can have those. So again, sorry, 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 sorry. Chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Too much. Probably, I don't know, maybe the gin and tonic wouldn't have been a good idea. Anyway, so that's that little mess cleared up. Please watch Darren's video, Venom Fluid Art, Air Bubbles in Your Paint and comment on that one with love and that will be you into the competition to win last week's canvas. Okay, I am sorry for getting it wrong. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So let's get the camera pointing back down. Da, da, da. It just kind of popped into my head. Maybe it was Darren really willing me like, brother, you messed up. So anyway, here we go. We've got 10 mil of um, 
uh, Joe Sonia uh, gloss varnish in here. Okay, so there's 10 mil da, 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 in the little mixing pot. And I'm just going to move these ones to the side, just like here for a minute. Bing, bing. And uh, we are mixing in Comet, which is the interference gold uh, interference red. Now, right, let me just put this little thing there. Perfect. And then it will stop it falling over. So there's 10 mil in there. We want to uh, wet the pigments first, which is means rather. Uh, we put the pigments into a solution of uh, Joe Sonia. Some people just w use a couple of drops of Joe Sonia and then a few drops of water to do it. There's many different ways, but I am going to just get a clean spoon because I've just put that in the, <laughs> in the varnish and I don't want that to be transferred in what left I've got of the, of the Comet. So here we go. This is how we're going to mix it up, okay? I'm going to get... Always open it away from your face, friends. And when you're dishing a little bit out like this, do it away from your face because this pigment powder and mica powders are very toxic and not very nice at all. So there you go. You can see how much pigment I've got on the little spoon. And again, away from your face, <laughs> tip it into the Joe Sonia or your solution of Joe Sonia and water or whatever you use to wet the pigment first and then close it away from yourself. I always go and blow away from myself when I'm doing it. Also get your rag and just wipe your hands because when you opened it, little tiny bits of mica is so fine and it's got on you and you don't want to transfer it around the house or in, you, you know, <laughs> in your mouth or anything like that. It's, um, it's something that we must treat very carefully. Vanna is just looking at me most sweetly and smiling. So here we go, guys. What we want to do now, if you want another little kind of class on how I mix up my pigments, I just pat them all over the top of the surface tension of the, um, of the varnish and just leave it for you know, a few seconds each time. And that will let the pigments dissolve in the, uh, in the Joe Sonia gloss varnish really nice and evenly and will help and stop you getting lumps in your in your uh, in your paints because we don't want lumps obviously now the handy thing about these little pots or if you're using the little ramekins the, the plastic ones you can get from the dollar store they'll find they're great too but these little pots you just make a flat side to the ramekin or the pot and then with the little stir stick you can just pat out the solution okay against the flat side and if there is any little lumps still in there you will pat them out and we won't end up with lumps in our interference paint because there'll be little lumps and little fleckies in their final picture. We won't get, you know, a really nice, beautiful fade. So for those of you that have watched my channel and uh, have watched the first video, video number one, what we're recreating is actually that video. But uh, that video, when, when I first released that picture, um, that instantly sold to a friend of mine, which was absolutely lovely. He fell in love with it and had to have it. Um, I did the video and I was only using a 16 inch square canvas. And this is why I want to show you the hot dog swipe on a two foot by three foot or, you know, 24 by 30. So anyway, waffle, 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 or should I say chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. <laughs> and <laughs> here is the solution, okay? You can see how thin it is, guys. Okay, it's like a kind of, we call it, or I call it, refer to it as an ink, when all of the, all of the uh, pigment is nicely dissolved. So we are gonna add 20 mil, and just to prove 20 mil, look, you see, sometimes I use a syringe just because it's easier to manage than the super glue P Bear 8300. So we've got 20 mil in here, so we're just gonna add that straight in there, nice and gently, not too hard, because we don't want to put more air it bubbles in there. And there we go. Bingo. Here we go, Vanna. My dear, if you could just take that apart and, because it'll glue itself together. So here we go, friends. So I've put the 20 mil of the Bear 8300 in it. And let's just give it a little, you know, a little mixy mix, mixy mixy mix, mixy mix. And again, you can just kind of, just make sure you get the little stirring stick in all the corners. 
so we get all of that lovely ink mixed into the Bear 8300. And now let's just, well, first of all, let's just look at this beautiful. There we go, that's, can it, is it working? Christy, can you see the color it is? It's this gorgeous interference red gold. Yeah, can you see it? Lovely, Christy says she can see it. There we go, so it's an interference red gold. Uh, and it also has, like, if you, uh, if you read the TLP uh, website, it actually says it's a triple interference. There's a magenta tone to it. So I guess it would be like, uh, very similar to uh, the uh, other triple uh, interference color shifts, which is McCaw, McCaw. And I can't remember if there's another triple or not, but anyway, so let's have a look guys, two to one. Yeah, you can see, it's a bit thick, it's a bit gloopy. So I'm just gonna pat the edges out so we get this nice and flat. Excellent, and let's just have another look. Yes, it's just a little bit on the gloopy side, a little bit on the thin side. We want it to run off the stick evenly. So here we go, guys, just a little tiny bloop. Bloop. We can always add more, we can't take it out. Uh, well, this is it though, we can always add more and if we inadvertently do make it too thin, we just add a little bit more of the bare 8300 and thicken it back up. So, let's have a look. Oh yes, oh yes. I think all it needed really was just that little tiny squirt of the Joe. Let's mix it up properly so it's all mixed thoroughly. And let me just have a look. Oh. Yes, so tell me what you think guys at home. Tell me, Christy, do you think that's about right? <laughs> Are you okay, my darling? Have you managed to get your video uploaded yet? No pressure. You're okay? Okay, well, if it doesn't, don't worry. If it doesn't happen, Christy, we'll just have a little 15 minute break where everyone can go and get a snack and don't have such a rushed time to have a pee but um, hopefully we'll be able to get it sorted. So there we go, guys. You right, darling? So, there we go, my friends. Da, da, da. Yes, that's about a great consistency. So we're gonna go back through our colors here, just for a second, and give them all a tap, because as I said, I only mixed them up just uh, this morning, uh, and they're still full of bubbles, and we really don't want bubbles. So just a gentle tap, guys, because if you tap too hard, it will whoop, come back at you. Yes, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> so just a couple of few taps, like you're tapping out the air in a baking mixture. I'm pretty sure, not that I bake, but I'm pretty sure that happens. So I'll we'll just give the fluorescent blue a few taps. We'll give the Athena a few taps. We'll give the Prism Violet a few taps. And then the Velvet a few taps. Honestly guys, you're lovely watching me tap paint. <laughs> so there we go, so that's the Comet. Da, da, da. Right, and before we use them, we'll give them another tap as well, okay guys? So let's just move our colors out of the way. Bingo, bingo. There we go. And uh, cell activator. We are using the Shelly Art recipe cell activator. Uh, Shelly Art is a fantastic online training, uh, online um, acrylic pouring course that you can take. Um, uh, many call her the, uh, the, the inventor of this. I don't actually know and I don't want to get caught into a load of politics. But what I will say is she's certainly the pioneer of this, of this art form. Uh, and if you would like to go and check her out and take that online course, we have a 15% uh, discount that someone will put up on the actual screen. Um, Christy, can you still, you can post, uh, you can post your links and live things. You're still moderators in the chat now, aren't you? Excellent, so when you, your name comes up, yeah. I didn't have to redo it. I thought I might have to redo it, but since the last week, I guess all you guys are still, still moderators, which is great. And one of these guys can put up the web address for Shelley, which is uh, shellyart.com.au, and our 15% off discount code, which is shellyart15, and then capital letters F-E-K. 
Uh, and yes, this cell activator, it's the Prussian blue cell activator from, uh, Prussian blue is the color from Amsterdam. And it is mixed, uh, hang on, I mixed it, I mixed it this morning. Did I mix it three to one or four to one? I believe I mixed it four to one. Let me have a look. Yes, yes, mixing it. No, 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 this is three to one. Three to one because the, it's got a bit warmer up now on the mountain and the summer is finally, or spring is finally on its way and my paints need to be just a little bit thinner on the thinner side. So this is four to one, brush and blue. Uh, and Australian Floetron, and there we go. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, so my friends, <laughs> just to <coughs> stop waffling and chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chatting for a second. Vanna the dear Vanna, thank you, my darling. And I guess everybody at home said, yes, Frosty, have a cocktail. <laughs> so. Chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Cheers to all my lovely friends that are out there watching. Oh, strawberry guava. Mm, very nice. Huh? Excellent. Brilliant. Thank you so much, my loves. Chitty chat, chitty chat. So let's get back down and have a look. There we go. So that's our colours. And this is our cell activator. So we're just going to move these to one side for one second. And now I'm going to have to just pull the camera up like this for a second because, oh, there we go. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. It really, it really irritates me where I can't get a nice straight shot for you. There you go. Excellent. We've got a bit of kind of moving space here. Excellent, thank you, Christy, it looks good. Our pillow paint today, my friends, is yay! It's back, it's back, colour to go. It's been like a year, I think, since I've seen these on the shelves and been able to get one of these. It's Colour to Go by Sherwin Williams. It's their tester pots, um, but it makes a fantastic pillow paint. And this one is Tricorn Black, which is the same pillow I used to make the original piece. So, here we go, let me just... Now, this thing is falling out of my ear again. I'm really sorry if I disconnect you. Okay, there we go. Excellent. So, how are we going to... Oh, Christy, are you still in my ear? Did I not disconnect you? Hey, fantastic, Christy, you're still here, yay! Awesome. <laughs> you can turn Christy up a little bit more. So, how are we going to spin a two foot by three foot canvas, or almost three foot canvas, 24 by 30 inches? How are we gonna spin this on our 20 inch board? Now, someone did ask uh, last week for us to discuss the spinner. So I'll do that quickly for you. It is a cake spinner, as you can see, a yellow base. I got this from Amazon. It is the aluminium one, and I believe they're about 50 or $60, right, Vanna? but it has uh, really good ball bearings in it and a really excellent motion, doesn't make any noise and is a uh, really good quality cake spinner. This board is a, da, 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 yeah, it's a 20 inch board and we're trying to put a 30 by 24 inch canvas on it. So um, the board is just a MDF board. It is, I'd say that's maybe three quarter inch or half inch half inch uh, MDF and I stuck it to the board with just the regular sticky tack that you use to put posters up on walls that don't mark like a thumbtack would. So there we go. Any more questions please put them in the in the in the live chat and my lovely co-hosts and friends and dearly dearly loved family will answer your questions. So here we go. So here's the board. Um, I draw a line from corner to corner because that means that's the center and that's how I line up everything that I put on it, okay? So if we are using, you know, so this eight inch canvas, here we go, we just make sure the corners are lined up with the black line and perfect. There you go, you're dead in the center. So how do we spin a canvas on here that is bigger than actually here? Well, I'll let you into a secret. You spin it around 45 degrees. Rather than have it like this at you at 180, you just spin it here to 45. And what we are going to do is rather than put it square on the, on the spinner, which you can't do, is we are going to do this. Da, 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 da. And da, 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 da. you see these little um, bits of blue? This is the sticky tack, the same stuff that I use to stick the board to the top of the spinner, right? So 
We turn it at 45, and if we do this, bingo, bingo, you see, there's the two corners of the actual spinner of the board. The middle is being supported by the whole board. And there you go. That's how you can spin a larger canvas, larger than the surface area of the board you've got on the top of your spinner. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to pan it out a bit more so you can hopefully see. There you go, guys. There's the corner. Ding, ding. There's another one there. So, yes, we just put it on at 45, not straight, 45 like that. And that's how we're going to do this big canvas. Now, I'm just going to stick it on here because I think it might be a bit easier to do everything with it on the spinner right here and now because we're not going to spin this here <laughs> because as you can imagine, woo, it's going to go everywhere and we don't want that at all. So what we're going to do is we have a little, uh, uh, the area that I use, I've just got a huge drop cloth. I put a huge drop cloth down. I know some people use puppy paws and things like that. I don't like having to lean over in the puppy paw and break my back. So I just put down a large drop sheet and then we're going to, when we're ready to spin, we're gonna take this over there. And I'm sorry, I'm gonna to have to disconnect the phone and bring it over to a new tripod so you can get the overhead view of when we spin it. Okay. Chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Wow. Let me have a little drink too. <laughs> So how's everything looking, Christy? Good? <laughs> We're thinking this is going to be a mess. There's going to be a lot of paint everywhere. Good no, I'm not going to make a mess. No, 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 no. Well, I'm going to probably get a bit messy, but... So, um, and again, we were talking about how much paint to use when you're painting something this large. Now... Different artists and different people say different amounts because that's what they prefer. It's a personal choice, okay, guys? My choice is kind of motivated from uh, conservation <laughs> of not using more than we really need to. Now, when I made this swipe uh, uh, the first time around, I used a whole one of these. Now, this is a quart, a quarter gallon, and we're gonna pour all of this on this two by three because we're gonna need it all to actually cover the canvas. And then we're going to put our colors down in a beautiful kind of almost an S shape like this. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you anymore because I'll spoil it. No spoilers, no spoilers, right Frosty? Okay, so I've just got to check over here. Ah, oh, yes, right, okay. So one second, my friends. There we go, excellent. And now I just need to... <laughs> How does that look, Christy? Is that a nice, decent, straight shot? Yeah? Brilliant, cool, because it was hanging over the edge of the uh, kitchen table and I didn't have, I haven't got anything down on the floor on that side and I don't want to drip stuff. <laughs> right, okay, so let's just first give our paints another little tap. Let's get the, get the, uh, get the air bubbles out of these. So how are you doing, Christy, my darling? Have you managed to get your video uploaded? Are you going to be a station on the train? Oh, bless. We will find out. Okay, so yeah, we might have an inadvertent 15 minute break, which I'm sure won't be the end of the world, my darling, okay? Don't stress about it, it's okay. It's Sunday fun day after all. As soon as it, hey, Hang on, where are you? Hey there, hi. <laughs> as soon as it's not fun anymore and it's stressful, that's when we need to stop because I'm doing this and everyone's doing this that I know for therapy almost. So as soon as it starts to become stressful, <laughs> stop it because that's not what we're doing it for, is it? So anyway, there we go. Okay, yeah, you know I love you too, Christy. Okay, so let's put the paint down. Oh my God, oh my God. It's the first time I've used it for so long. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it right in the middle and then around like this. Da 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 da, da da da, da da da. Da da da. Oh, no bloops. There were no bloops at all in that whatsoever. That's fantastic. Right, okay, I'm just gonna put that upside down in the corner for a minute. And now we just need to get our palette knives and just kind of spread this out a little bit. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. 
Chitty chat, chitty chat, chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay, so I'm just spreading this out, guys. Uh, don't worry, the, pi the paint will find its own level. Don't worry, don't worry. And that's just, there we go, lovely, excellent. So, here we go. So we just want to uh, move the paint out just to the corners, to the edges, just so everything's covered because we don't want to have no little dry spots anywhere or rings on the canvas after we have finished. And I need to make sure I don't get the drips off the edge like that. <laughs> so yes, like I said, friends, I haven't painted one of these for a long time, way over a year. So here we go, talk about put myself on the spot here. If it comes out terribly wrong, I have an excuse that I didn't do one for a year. Uh, and if it comes out fantastic, I can, <laughs> I can be happy about it. Let's just say there. Okay, excellent. So we're just getting the paint out to the corners. We don't want no little dry edges. I hear Vanna every now and then over in the corner here, just laughing where she's reading the, uh, uh, re reading the live chats. You guys have such a fun time, I've got to say. Wendy's on her second drink party. Oh, Wendy, Wendy, nice one, Wendy. Yeah, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love it. This is so fun. So, Christy, what was that? Yeah, no, this is fantastic. Is that Wendy Coonsley? Yes. Wendy Kingsley, hi darling, yeah, hi there. I love your style, Wendy, that's fantastic. Like, I thought you were supposed to take sips when you were paying a drinking game, and she's just, nah, smashing it. Excellent, so there we go, my friends. <laughs> Christy's just giggling and making me laugh in my ear now. Right, excellent, let's just try and keep this straight. So, there we go, guys, there's all of our paint on the actual, on the canvas and um, obviously I can't tap this but I did see there's some yeah there's a couple of little bubbles let's get rid of those straight away and some people go ah you're torching the pillow you can't do that well watch me I just did <laughs> if you do it too much then you, then you can ruin it absolutely guys but anyway 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 here we go so I'm going to pour the gold I've got a good two ounces of the gold in this little two ounce pot and like I said, we're going to pour it in a kind of S, loose S, like a kind of wave as something as, as such. Remember, start a third in from the edge of the canvas because anything that close is going to go. So we're going to start here and we're going to go pour, 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 pour. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Lovely. Excellent. Oh, hang on. Vanna, the cat, is trying to escape. <laughs> <laughs> he's a wily little minx, he really is. He's big enough to open the patio. Yeah, he's big enough to open the patio door on his own, which is astounding. I know, a little, little Hugo. So anyway, now we've got the, uh, the, the fluorescent blue, okay? Now we want, we're not gonna put all of the fluorescent blue down, just a stripe through the middle, not too much. Da da da, da da da, because we want just a bit of blue in some of the cells. And this is a semi, uh, opaque so we don't want too much because it will if we use too much it will blot out the color below I don't know why I sang it like that but anyway so here we go now I'm using the Athena same with the Athena well Athena is actually uh, Athena is um, is semi-transparent so oh hang on I'm just looking at my Athena no she's good she's good she's good we're good so Again, just put the little strip of Athena down over the blue. Do it on, oh, meow, there we go, buddy. Hi, bud. You know, Hugo, he wants to get in on it too. So there we go, guys. That's now the, um, that's the Athena that we've just put down. And now we're gonna go with the Prism Violet. Just give it another tap. And the prism violet is semi, uh, no, it's transparent, so we're good with this. We're just going to put a little. The colour to go I am using right now, I said, was tricorn black. In satin 
in satin finish. Yeah, um, all of the finishes, I believe, are satin, so there's no actual uh, uh, difference to it as such. So, anyway, guys, there we go. There's the hot dog. Can you see what I'm kind of talking about? No, not at all, Frosty. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the bun of the hot dog, okay, guys? So we're going to pour the interference along the edge like that. Okay, beautiful, perfect. So that's one of the hot dog buns. Are you ready? We're gonna do the other bun. <laughs> right, let me just put these down. There we go, da, 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 da. And now this is the turn of the comet on this side. We wanna pour it just on the edge of the gold and just going over onto the black just a little bit. Beautiful, there we go. Bloop, bloop. Excellent. Now, can you see the hot dog? Can you see the hot dog? It's a bit of a wonky hot dog, but it's a hot dog, what I call hot dog swipes, okay? I'm gonna put a little more of the, of the interference blue just along this bit here. Here we go. Oops. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more of the interference gold red bloopy bloop here too. Excellent. Okay, now what we're going to do to get those beautiful wispy sides, or if you don't know what I'm talking about because you don't know what my uh, pictures look like, uh, <laughs> um, or the first video that I did, uh, we're going to blow these out first before we swipe and we're going to get these beautiful billowy kind of patterns to it. So I hope I don't get, I'm going to have to lose, oh dear, I just pulled a earphone out. Christy, are you still in my ear, darling? No. I have clicked it off. I had to take off my shirt, guys, so I don't get paint in on, on my teddy bear. So, here we go. I need to wet my lips. Ah. Hey, darling, I can hear you in my ear now. So you see what we're doing, guys? Oh, damn, that was a bit too hard. Okay, so I'm going to... Oop. I forgot how, far, how hard it is to lean over to get these. Right, okay, so I'm gonna now just blow these ones out. And you want to try and get one. There we go, that's looking better, great. And we're gonna have just this little bit here. Actually, I tell you what, I'm gonna try and fix that right now. And just put a little bit more, whoop, 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 there we go. Because we really only want the smokiness, not the colors on the outside. Perfect, there we go. So there you go, there's one side, guys. I'll bring you in for a close-up after I do this side. But I start in the middle, and we want to kind of try to get one a little bit bigger in the middle and then get smaller towards the outside. That's the pleasing look I prefer, but you do whatever you really want, you know, because... Because this art is fantastic. There's no right or wrongs. There's as you want and as you do. Another little... Little drink of water. There we go, guys. You see the pretty patterns we kind of get? It will look like wispy clouds when we finished spinning it out. Excellent, there we go, my friends. There we go. Semi-opaque. Semi-opaque means it's not quite see-through. Semi-opaque means if it's very solid, if we use the stained glass window 
reference of the church. If you remember the stained glass that is clear, but still colored, and I mean clear as, say if there's a tree outside the window, you can still see the tree through the colored glass. That is transparent or semi-transparent. If the glass is what they call opaque, so it means it's misted out. So you can still let light through it, but it's just a solid color, you can't see through it. That's the difference. That's gonna be semi-opaque, okay? It's letting light through, but you can't see through it in the stained glass window reference. Okay guys, now what I'm gonna do is just blow out. I like just blowing out the colors into each other a little bit before we swipe. Don't pass out from all this blowing, I know, that's what Christy just said. <laughs> right, okay, friends, so we're gonna be using this tool. Let's come in close now, okay, so you can see the swipe, guys. Ding, bingo, there we go. We're using this tool. It is the uh, Liquitex Freestyle. It's the large, uh, large version. There's a smaller and a larger version. I don't know what it's called, it doesn't have a name on it, but anyway, we're using our Prussian Blue cell activator and what we're going to do is swap is swipe from the middle out this way clean our and then from the middle out this way and that's hopefully going to give us a fantastic beautiful swipe that when we finally spin this is going to look absolutely incredible so let me just load up the knife with the cell activator so we don't need a hell of a lot guys as you can see there you go this is what I've just poured on and I'm just gonna with the little stirring stick move it out to the edges we don't want too much because as we know the more cell activator we use the bigger the uh, the bigger the cells in some respect okay guys so here we go perfect so, oh dear me, here, wish me luck. I haven't done this for a year now. So here we go, start in the middle and I'm gonna give it a little wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. There we go. So you wanna stay in the middle, guys, and not disturb those nice smoky edges too much. But as you can see, look at those cells popping up right now. <laughs> Hello, I'll leave you just there to look at those cells that are popping up before I then swipe the other side, okay guys? And by giving it the little wobble wobble, as I said, you know, kind of some side to side, you add, you add, can add real beautiful movement to the piece. So there you go guys, that was the little paw, about the size of a, a, uh, a uh, yeah, where I am, about the size of a, 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 of a dollar. But there we go, and we just wanna just pad it out so it's nice and even all across the swiping tool. Oh, perfect. Right, and now we're gonna go in and do the other side. Look at those cells, fabulous. So I'm just going to come in right here and go. There we go. Oh, and the cat is coming. I want some attention, he said. Bless his little heart. <laughs> okay, guys, so there we go. You can see the See the cells popping up there really prettily. And da, 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 there we go. So you can have a nice little view. Boom, boom. So we, what I'm gonna do now is just break up. I don't like to modify these edges, but I'm just gonna blend them in a bit by blowing these cells and these ghost cells into the smoke a little bit, okay? So. I like to do this just to add a bit more interest, dimension and movement to the actual piece, okay? So I'm just gonna blow this little corner here if I can reach. There we go, and we just make those cells there just that little bit bigger, and it just kind of blends into the, into the uh, interference color either side quite nicely. <laughs> Christy's laughing in my ear. What happened, Christy? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you can't even repeat it? Oh my word, okay, yes, let's not repeat it. Let's try to keep the chat clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so I'm gonna just put in a couple of little uh, modifications here, guys. Just one here. Well, I'm gonna try blowing it first. Okay, that's not too bad. And no, I am not going to modify it. Okay then, guys, so there we go, there's the canvas. I am going to take the phone over to the area da -da -da. oh excuse me <laughs> i had to take off my shirt because i didn't want to get uh, the black pillow paint on my teddy bear did i of course so here we go guys we're in sorry i could have showed you there we go here, this is where we are this is my little desk where i make uh, my stencils and things there's the outside and there's the drop cloth okay guys so like i said some people like to use puppy pools and things like that and uh I find it a bit di difficult to lean in and over them, especially when we're doing a large piece. So here we go. Hi, hi there. Where are we? There we are. Hi there, friends. Right, okay, so that's great. Again, apologies for having to do this, guys. So, brilliant. Okay, picking the piece up. Ooh, and moving it over. And it was a very good idea to keep it on the spinner because it was very easy to move around and very easy to blow out. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure these edges are nice and wet and there's a nice load of paint to them so it will fly off. And as you can see, I've got about a good foot or more of, um, of drop cloth space around this piece to catch all the excess paint that's going to come off. There we go. Look, Christy. Ooh. Getting my hands straight in it. <laughs> okay, so just making sure these edges are nice and wet. And we're going to go in for the spin. Okay, my friends. So here we go. I just need to get the get my cloth to clean my hands because it's very filthy. <laughs> right, I can't help it. No, I can't. So brilliant. There we go. Is that a good view, guys? Is that in, in view? There we go. Okay, so in we're going to go for the real time spin. Nice and slowly, guys. We don't want paint to fly everywhere. Excellent. Okay, just gonna let it spin for a little bit longer before I can get my hand underneath it and slow it down. Bingo. Here we go, guys. What do you think of that? Is that looking good, Christy? Excellent. Right, so what I'm doing now is just picking up the bits of extra paint that have come off the drop cloth and I am just wetting the edges even more so we can spin it again and get this piece nice and prettily done. Because it's coming off beautifully on this side here. We've got excellent coverage all the way over and around. Beautiful. So let's just, da, 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 da. let me get another <laughs> rag, please, banner. Thank you, my dear. There we go, there's the dirty one. So have you got a view, good view of the piece at the moment, Christy? Have you got a good view of the piece? Is it in shot nicely? Excellent, there we go. And can we see some details and whatnot? Brilliant. So there we go, my friends. So we're gonna give it the anti-clockwise spin now. And let me just make sure I don't spin it too fast or crazily. There we go. Again, guys, leaving it in real time, obviously, <laughs> because this is real time live, but um, that's how fast I spin for. Not so, not so fast at all, and you've got to leave it for a bit of longer time and give the, give the paint the chance to spin off, because if we leave it too thick, it's going to look, uh, it's not going to dry very well, 
and the overall effect will be lost. So here we go. Bingo. Beautiful. How's that look, Christy? Excellent. I can see the interference gold on the one side is looking really beautiful. Excellent. So there we go, my friends. Look at my hands, Christy. I don't know if you can at the moment. <laughs> but there you go, my friends. This is how we paint the big canvas. And this is how much paint we need to use to cover these big canvases. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. So, just gonna put a bit more there. Excellent, she's spun off beautiful. We've got that lovely interference gold red. I can see only gold really at the moment from the comet. But then we've got the beautiful, the velvet on the other side, looking absolutely spectacular. So there we go, my friends. I will let you just look at that closely for a minute. Let's go in a bit closer for you. Excellent, so how's that look, Christy? Is that good? Brilliant. I've just got to clean myself up. Look, look, <laughs> it's blurry. I don't think it is. What? I'm just looking. Is it? Excellent, there we go. Okay, friends, so I've just got to clean myself up. So, chitty chat, chitty chat chat. <laughs> Everybody drink, chitty chat, chitty chitty chat chat. Everyone, is everyone really drunk now? <laughs> They're probably all really drunk. Wow, isn't that pretty? Oh, nice work, babe. Oh, I'm, I'm getting the approval from Vanna, so yeah. you like it, Vanna? I know, you guys can't hear Frosty right now, so I'm here and you can listen to me waffle on. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Didn't he do good? How's everyone's cocktails? I hope they're delicious. I have fancy coffee, and yes, there's booze in it. <laughs> <laughs> we fancy this drink, um, Gretzky, uh, Wayne Gretzky, the hockey player, makes liquor now. He has really good red wines, but he also makes this alternative to Bailey's. And this salted caramel one, holy cow, if you haven't tried it yet, you're doing yourself a great disservice. And I insist <laughs> that you go to the liquor store and pick up three bottles, because that's how many we buy at a time. It's that good. <laughs> Coffee's not coffee without it. All right, here's your frosty back, and he's put his shirt back on. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> there we go, friends. Ooh. Hi, my friends. Thank you for joining me. So there we go. Thank you for waiting for me, rather. So there we go. Here is the end result. Quite pretty. You were looking at it as it was just spinning around and around while I was just cleaning myself up. Whoops. While I was just cleaning myself up. And putting my shirt back on because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get, <laughs> didn't want to get paint on the, on, on the, the teddy bear, you know, because no one wants to get paint on the teddy bear. It makes an unhappy teddy bear. But there you go, look, excellent. You see, I did get a little bit of black paint there one time, a long time ago, but you can't really see it. But anyway, there we go. Thank you so much for joining us, my friends. That was how you pour a two by three or as we saw, you know, it's not quite two by three totally, uh, 24 by 30 inches. So, you know, we're missing six inches off the, off the end. So it's about a square foot, but that's how much paint we need to use as a pillow. So a full quart. And as you can see, uh, they're obviously, you know, we're using the pillow to its maximum potential doing something that large. Uh, but we've got some paint around the edge of the spinner, but not too much at all whatsoever. <sighs> chitty chat, chitty chat. Chitty chat chat. Cheers. All right, Christy has told me in my ear that her video has uploaded. Is it right? <laughs> Excellent. Okay, fantastic. So let's just uh, run through um, the last week's canvas again. In case you missed it or you weren't here at the beginning, here is last week's canvas that I made. We were trying to recreate this, but using with uh, higher quality pigments and I mixed them up too thin. And super critically, they're a little bit 
they melted into each other a little too much. I should have made them a little bit thicker. But if you would like to win these, or this one, and say, no, I don't want that one frosting. Uh, and this, whoa. <laughs> saved it. This was our blue, uh, our bloom practice blow from last week. So if you would like to win these uh, last week's canvas, please go to Darren's channel, Venom Fluid Art, and watch his videos, Air Bubbles in Your Paint? Question mark. And then leave the comment in the comments for that video, love, okay? And then we'll draw We'll draw a winner for next week for last week's canvases. There we go. Da, 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 da. Excellent. Now, is there any questions or anything like that in the in the in the chat, Christy, that I need to answer, or have you guys just done your job so amazingly well uh, as you do every single every single week? <laughs> There's usually no questions for me to answer. Who? Let me show the bottle. Oh! This is the stuff, guys. Get this. Gretzky. So good. Three at a time, I'm not joking. <laughs> Excellent, my friend. So, we're, oh, I just put my thumb right in paint. Oh no, uh, what are we gonna do, Frosty? What are we gonna do? Oh, Vanna throws me a rag instantly. <laughs> so, brilliant. There we go, my friends. Uh, that was uh, to the rerun over last week's canvas. So yes, please watch Darren's channel, Venom Fluid Art, and his video, Air Bubbles in Your Paint. Comment, love, and we'll pick a, a winner for next week. So, uh, talking about next week. Next week is totally unplanned as of yet. Unfortunately, we've been incredibly, incredibly busy with work and other commitments. Um, that I'm finding it a little bit of a struggle to find the time to be able to prep properly for this show so it's you know fun and interesting for you just not a load of waffle and silliness uh, but also finding it difficult to get the other video done and released on a Wednesday so I am considering not doing the Wednesday videos anymore just so it frees up a bit more time and we can concentrate on making this show really amazing for you. So I'd just like to remind you guys if you haven't been reminded yet or you joined a little bit late the little stickers in the bottom left no bottom right of your screen down here I think uh, where you type in your messages for the live chat there is a little dollar sign there now this uh, is, enables you to send us little stickers or super chats which have a monetary value if you click on that little dollar sign it'll take you to a page where you can choose the sticker pack or the nomination you want and then if you don't have apple pay it will take you to a little screen where you can put in your credit card details and it will charge you it's totally secure and safe but then you'll be able to send us a sticker or a super chat now it, with the super chat you can actually put a message in it it's a way of getting your message highlighted in the super chat and it's a way of supporting us little youtubers um, that are you know burgeoning and budgeting quite small and just you know getting started out comparatively to some of the other huge influencers and youtubers and things like that online online what we're asking for the super chat super stickers for is so we can get a couple more cameras so I don't have to do what I did today by taking the camera over there so we can have a little spinning area and so One of me and then one of actually the piece that we're doing as a nice super close up so you can choose and flip between the two. That's what we're asking for. So thank you so much. And if you've already sent one, thank you so much. I really greatly, greatly appreciate. Oh, Jackie Vaughan. There we go. That's so kind of you, Jackie. Thank you. This demonstrates what a super sticker is. There you go. Jackie, thank you so much, darling. Uh, we have your, all of, if you're still waiting, yes, yes, yes. If you're still waiting for your last week's canvases and your prizes that you have won here, I have them all packaged up. They're all by the door. And unfortunately, the post office closed at two yesterday, I believe, and we couldn't get there in time. So I'm gonna have to go uh, down. Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesdays, the next time we go to town, because I live up on a mountain a mile away from the nearest. Oh, J Jeanette, Jeanette, thank you so much. That was really kind of you. Thank you for that sticker. Uh, we live on a mountain a mile above sea level, but an hour away from the closest town. Uh, so we have to plan our trips to town uh, quite well. But I have all of your gifts and all of the last week canvases, all the things that I'm supposed to be sending out, including your piece, Jackie, a piece for... Betty, Danny, and 
too many to mention, but they're all packaged up, sitting by the door, and we'll get those shipped to you on Tuesday, and I'll be messaging all of you with a tracking number. There we go. <laughs> Jeanette, oh, there you go. There's Vanin thanking Jeanette for, for me on, on your back behalf. That's lovely. So, okay, we've got 3.20 right now. So the train is about to pull out of this station. Just hold tight. I hope you've got your seats and got your drinks. Chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. <laughs> right, I love it. Van is giggling over there. So the next stop on the acrylic crazy train today, we're going all the way around to New South Wales, with Darren, aka, aka Wombat, my brother from another mother, from Venom Fluid Art, and he is going to be the next stop. And then after that, 15 minutes later, we're coming back to the USA, to Illinois, for our Illinois correspondent, the lovely Christy, Creations by Christy, hopefully if her video's <laughs> loaded. Uh, and then after Christy, we have, it says ready, she says it says ready. I hope they get a chance to process it, darling, before uh, you, it's actually up, hopefully. Or we might just have a good chat in your live chat waiting for 15 minutes. But after Christy, after Christy, we're going to Maryland, all the way on the East Coast, I believe, if my geography is correct, for Sheldon from Sheldon Shell Rock Arts. And then after Sheldon, we go back to Texas, to the lovely Brit from Brit Clayton Designs. And then after Brit, we've got the new carriage that just joined us this week, Charmaine from uh, Alchemy Attitude Artistry. And she is going to be the second to last up on the uh, Acrylic Crazy Train before we get to our lovely darling caboose. It's Lance Travis from Pouring Together with Lance. And he's going to be the last stop on the train. Okay then, my friends. So I am going to either just chitty chat, chitty chat, chat, chitty chat, chat. Let's have another little drink. Absolutely, Vanna, this was a good idea. I should have one of these before the show. I don't know why, but I still get really nervous, you know, and we're eating lunch just before the show, and I'm trying to eat it slowly and set all the butterflies in my stomach. But they're there and there's nothing I can do. And as soon as I press go live, I just kind of go, oh, and there we go. I just chill out and relax. But I don't know why. I think it's going to happen every time the kind of pre-show just as nerves. The camera is your Xanax. Huh? The camera is your Xanax. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> <laughs> But Vanna just said, the camera is my Xanax. Oh my gosh. Anyway, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed the show today and uh, letting you know and going through the stages of uh, how much paint we use for how big a canvas that we are actually painting. It looks fantastic still over from here. I'm going to have to clean up the edges a little bit more and then get it into the drying area. But uh, yes, we will have dry results of that canvas next week. And I'm not too sure, but we might use it as the next, if it comes out nicely, I hope it does, praying to the praying gods, uh, to the painting gods. If it comes out nicely, we might use it as our next uh, live auction. Uh, I figured that maybe we'll do one of these maybe like once a month because I don't want to do it too often because I don't want to be perceived as a cash grabber or anything like that or trying to offload my own old canvases or anything like that. But yes, hopefully if it comes out really nicely, dries well, we'll use it as our next month's uh, live auction. So my friends, thank you so much. I have got, I've got 82 minutes. So 80, 82 and a half minutes we've been going. So really that's two and a half minutes. I'm going to cut it just this little bit short, just to give you guys a chance to go and have a pee or uh, get some, uh, get some snacks or another drink. I know we'll be needing another drink, won't we, Vanna? Yes. Uh, yes. And we will carry on to the next station, which is in New South Wales with Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Okay. Goodbye from Christy in my ear. Everybody's going to say goodbye to you on the uh, live chats right there. Thank you so much, Darren. Thank you so much, Christy. Thank you so much, Bridget. Thank you so much, Britt. Thank you so much, Sheldon, if you're in there. Charmaine and also Lance, I love you all dearly. Have a fantastic week. And please remember, tell everybody you know. Our viewing figures are getting a little bit kind of... We could do with more people watching. So please, my friends, tell everybody you know about the joy of pouring and the acrylic crazy train and join us on a Sunday afternoon for some happy pouring. Mwah.